Tara Kay from Courage Wonder Watch, and I'm here with the Lady Warriors of Eastmore Academy. If you don't know, these ladies dethroned Afrocentric's 141 game winning streak. Ladies, how would you feel about that? Amazing. Good. Great. Celebration. It was a great night. Lost the words. You know how much far work we put in for that game? I bet it was a lot. And we were doubted. We were doubted by a lot. So we finally gained respect for everybody. So I know going into that game, people thought, well, they lost the first game. They'll probably lose the second one. How did it feel to shut those people up? Great. Felt like we were undisputed. Um, just like it was ours. We took it. Felt like we finally gained the respect from the city. How much so, hard work we put in for a game? It takes a lot. No, what do you mean it takes a lot? What kind of hard work we put in? Twenty months, months sweating, nineteen running, coach um, out, gosh, just <laughs> getting like, your basketball IQ up, getting to know your team, I see. Plays. We were sore. Yeah, sore every day. So I've got two senior captains here with me. Ladies, introduce yourself and state your position. Hi, I'm Amani Burke. Um, I play any position my coach wants me to play at any given time. Um, it just depends on the game and the personnel. And I'm Mahogany Merritt or Mo, and I'm sort of a shooting guard, but I can do any position too. This one right here, shoot anything in your face. Give her two feet of space. Sorry, you're down three. <laughs> <laughs> So seniors, what type of leadership do you show to this team? Um, leadership. It starts outside of basketball in school. Um, I think our la our first quarter GPA, I had a 3.7. I had a 3.9. So um, it starts in the classroom first. Mm -hmm. And then on the court, it's just about working hard in practice rather than just the game. Um, and staying positive. Yeah, encouraging, um, leading by example, instead of trying to um, be a boss, working hard, being a family. Now, other seniors, how do you show leadership? The, you're the upper class, the little kids look up to you. Um, just by encouraging the other ones, the younger ones. So, you guys are seniors. So, in the past, have you had any underclassmen who have like look look up to you? You know, maybe a big sis, little sis thing, and your little sis is like she wants to be a great shooter like you, or mm -hmm. she wants to be able to take it to the hole like you can. Uh, I don't know. Well, this year my little sis is my same age, so we can't really. She trying to base it more for like school wise. Okay. Like so if sometimes you were doing a little bit yeah. better than somebody okay. else. Can help yourself. So, how are you ladies preparing for this week? Hard yeah, practices. Take it day by day. Focusing Focus. in yeah. school. Especially Friday all day. It's about getting your mind right for that night. Listen to music all day. Being comfortable. Now you said focusing in school. How are you managing school and basketball? It's the hardest thing. Oh. Time, time, man time management is mm -hmm. like key. You have to know when after practice, you need to go straight home and do your homework, or you're going to be too tired, and then you're not going to do it. Sleep. And then you need to go to sleep and get your home. So, to the younger girls on the team, is the transition from middle school to high school a lot harder than you expected it to be? Yes, it was. It was harder. How so? Because trying to deal with your timing, have to worry about your practices, practices get extended more, and you have to worry about classwork is getting way harder, taking your classes. All right, so now I'm a quick scenario for all of you. 30 seconds left on the clock. You're down by six. State championship. Who wants the ball? Everybody. Bonnie. 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 Oh. Bonnie. <laughs> she the only one that wants the ball, so if you everybody. Want the ball, everybody. Oh, I mean, we're all no, 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 no. Everybody wants the ball. It's but a design play for her. You gotta put it in the right person's hands that you trust. Okay. Trust, trust Bonnie. That's our our. She our can goal. hit the three if she needs it. She got the drive. Throws. So, is there a specific shooter you look up to? Uh, Mo. Mo. <laughs> Mo can hit that three in your face. <laughs> and then she'll also like be like real slick with it. When you won't see she's like our like silent, silent ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Silent ninja. Quiet storm. <laughs> she looks like she's running slow and she's really running fast. Slow Mo. She's going through the whole crowd. Like, like, you think he's dribbling and you ain't getting nowhere. Like, slow Mo Mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, for you, who do you look up to the shooter? 
We have Steph Curry probably. So, if you were like a three point competition with Steph Curry, you think you could take him? I mean, yeah, I could try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would be. Uh, yeah. Was it cool? Uh, wow. Wow. Number two. watching this week's episode of Cars One to Watch and don't forget these ladies right here are one to watch. Are you one to watch?